Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tom, back for the Funky Fridays. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I figured I'd come back and do one real quick. It's hot as fuck here in Connecticut right now, so I'll try to keep this quick so I can turn the AC back on, the fan back on without it being too loud. Um, so here we go. Down south, lost in Brooklyn from the year 1994. Uh, Gold Stamp promo, as you can see right there. I don't think I showed this in my promos, but there we go. Um, so this group consists of Sean J. Period, the producer, um, well known for his work with Black Star, uh, The Artifacts, Mad Skills, a uh, bunch of stuff with Ruckus. So, a uh, really great producer in my opinion. Uh, mostly well known for doing stuff in the 90s. Uh, the MC, I believe his name is Soda MC or MC, yeah, Soda MC. Um, and the DJ, Mayor the DJ. Um, name of the group is Down South, but I believe the MC was from Brooklyn, actually, and the other guys were from Virginia, I believe, so it's not really that Down South. Uh, if you're from the U.S., you know that Virginia isn't as South as a lot of other places, so I'm um, that kind of weird, but anyway, yeah, um, 14 tracks on here. You got production from T-Ray, Sean J. Period himself, uh, Stretch Armstrong produces one track and co-produces a track with Sean J. Period. The Beat Nuts produced three tracks along with the title track, Lost in Brooklyn. This is one of my favorite tracks. Um, for features, you only have two features. They're both on the same tracks. We've got Bobito and Funkaholic. I'm not sure if you guys can see the track list right there, but there's the track list. Probably can't see that because my camera sucks, but uh, I'll make you show the CD real quick. It looks like that. No lyrics or anything in the book, just a about credits and stuff. This album is mainly uh, really, really jazzy. Really nice though, really nice, nicely done production. A lot of horns, if you're into horns, this is your, your album right here. And it's definitely an album for me, because I love horns, I love jazz. So, especially in my hip hop. Um, every track, I think, has a horn on it, so if that's not your thing, then avoid this album. But if that is your thing, definitely peep it. It's definitely worth peeping. Um, in my opinion, the production definitely overshadows the MCing. Although not to say the MC is bad, it doesn't take away from uh, the production, but he doesn't really, you know, he doesn't really add that much to it. He's just kind of there, I think. Unfortunately, it's kind of a, I don't know, he's not a downside, because like I said, he's not bad, but he's just not that great either, so. Um, I think you could definitely listen to it, or I could listen to it, you know, pretty much straight through. I not be turned off by it, but I'm definitely listening to it mostly for the production. And, um, yeah, I don't know, the MC, even though he's from Brooklyn, he kind of adds like a, a southern twang or something to his voice a little bit sometimes, so. And the tracks all deal, obviously, with uh, southern themes and stuff like that, so. Uh, what more to say about this? The two features I want to hear, Bobito and the Funkaholic, were done pretty damn well. Um, Favorite track? I don't know. There's a lot of good tracks on here, actually. Uh, Lost in Brooklyn title track is really good. Uh, Southern Comfort's a great track. I believe it's what we're listening to right now, actually, is Southern Comfort. You guys can hear that. Yep, Southern Comfort. Um, a lot of good tracks on here. Big Wheels, pretty funny, talking about their childhood and stuff. That's a great track. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go through a track list. I just wanted to come on here real quick and recommend this album um, for maybe some of you guys that haven't heard it like I said if you're into really jazzy production um, from the 90s came out in 94 so if you're into that 90s jazzy stuff and this is an album for you really nice bass really nice horns so uh, check it out check out some tracks online you know you might like it I know some people don't love Sean J. Perry's production but I think it's pretty damn good especially around this time so so that's it guys um haven't done too many videos lately because I've been kind of busy, but I'll uh, hopefully try to get some more up uh, shortly. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.